Here we are the next day. It is about 7.30 in the morning. I just hooked up the trailer with the load of wood. There she is, ready to roll down the road. Today's gonna be a big delivery day. I've got three for sure, maybe four, and one big long road trip. A guy's paying me to drive all the way up north to his cabin to dump him a load of wood. So it'll be a long day today. So here we go. It's time to deliver some wood and rescue Uncle Benjamin once again. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I got three three high school boys. So oh, perfect. Well, little nine-year-old daughter, she doesn't help so much, but. Well, you might probably be the best of them. <laughs> yeah. I am back in the wood yard. I just backed up the trailer to this pile. This is a two face cord pile here. There's two rows. And I'm gonna take a, the third row from over there. So it's a full cord for this next load also. Now that last customer is a new customer. I've never sold to him before and it's the kind you want. So I always ask everybody when I get there, so is this for a fireplace or backyard fire pit or both? He says, no, he says, we heat with wood. I said, oh, I said, well, how much do you go through a year? He said, usually anywhere from two and a half to three full cords and he said just depends on you know how often they make the fires and keep it going he said sometimes they use their gas heat too but he said they try to burn wood as much as they can and i asked him i said usually get oak he says yeah i usually have he said my guy that i used to buy from quit doing it so he said no i guess you're going to be the guy so that's going to be a good customer hopefully um, should be so he seemed to be happy with the wood he used to cut wood himself he lived up in the up and he said his whole life when he was a kid they heated with wood so it was always his job to do firewood and he said no he just doesn't have time for it but he loves to do it so he seemed to be pretty happy to get the wood so this next load is going to be a big long road trip we're going to load it up right now going to throw this in and then we're going to drive um about two hours north of here a guy's paying me quite a bit to drive it to his cabin so that's what's going to happen so we're going to get this loaded up right now so it's wood chucking time It's in. That's uh, full cord. And I put a whole bunch of this little kindling in here underneath. I made a little hole and then I put this big chunk kind of on top of it so it doesn't blow out on me. I grabbed the biggest armful I could get. So I'm going to start for people that uh, buy full cords or do multiple loads. I'm just going to start giving away big armfuls of kindling to them because those are the good customers that I want to keep coming back. So a little bribery goes a long ways. So there it is. We're gonna go for a very long ride now. It's like 130 miles I gotta go for this delivery. And I told the guy, I said, I can do it, but I said, I have to charge you for it. And I said, it's gonna take me half a day, so I gotta charge you premium. So normally I charge like a buck a mile, I charge him a buck 50 a mile, so, to deliver some wood. So this will be uh, 
bunch of money. So anyway, here we go, down the road, going to deliver it right now. Leaving my delivery that I just did, it was uh, two hours and 15 minutes to get here, but uh, I did get paid for the drive, and it's a beautiful day, and uh, I saw all kinds of cool things on the way. I've never been up this way in northern Wisconsin. This is kind of on the eastern side of Wisconsin, and uh, I went past a couple deer farms, which was really cool. I saw some monster bucks out there. I mean, like, you know three four hundred inches they were just humongous they look like elk so that was pretty cool so we're on our way back and uh, we'll see you in a little bit we'll be in the wood yard we'll load up another load when i get back i'm on my way back from my delivery and i had to stop and get gas at this place and they have firewood here and this place isn't too far from here this is uh they got it on pallets which obviously is really nice they have it shrink wrapped now it says here that it's premium kiln dried it's 0.6 Oh, cubic feet so it's not even 0.75 like a lot of them this is right down the road middle inlet wisconsin um, it's heat treated to 140 degrees for 60 minutes so i'm just gonna have to say that i don't think that that could possibly be dry but what do i know i don't have a kiln but 60 minutes like really it's all pop out, it looks like. You can see there's a bunch of moisture on the inside, as you can see, which I'm sure it continues to dry when it's sitting here in the sun. But yeah, there's moisture all in there, too. You can see all the water on there. On the ins it's on the inside, actually. So yeah, it's uh, firewood. So, <laughs> I don't know. I know as I've bought some of the gas station stuff in the past, and it's usually wet. So 60 seconds, I mean 60 minutes at 140 degrees. I don't know about that. Maybe I don't know. If you know, tell me. Does that actually work? 60 minutes, 140 degrees? You guys have a kiln? Anybody knows? I want to know. Let me know. So I'm driving on the road and I didn't know this place was here. Never been past here before. It's uh, Sturzing. I think that's how you say it. Firewood processing. They cut, split, dry it. They got quite an operation here. Um, they got all their logs out over here, uh, ready to be cut. They got all their bark and refuse back there. Uh, they got a Cord King processor over here. They have one kiln right here. And then there's two more kilns over behind the shed over there, behind my truck for drying. And they got all the uh, IBC totes full over here. 
and uh, we're going to come over to the other side over here. There's a whole bunch of other IBC totes waiting to be filled. They've got quite an operation here. Um, they've got crates full over there and uh, over to the side here. I noticed they've got in there where they do their processing. They've got uh, uh, loaders here and uh, they look like they're articulating loaders. The Wacker Newson, I guess. They've got a couple of them. There's one over there and you can see all they got all their processed wood over here in the uh, their shed so quite an operation I went and knocked on the office though there's no one here today I don't know why it's a Saturday and uh, so yeah here they've got their they got a semi truck a, a trailer they back right in so they can fill it with all the sawdust from the machine so you can see that's starting to get pretty full in there it looks like oh no there's a lot of room yet but they blow it right in here it's the old cord king model CS 1830 model 40 whatever that means and they got a tumbler over there so you can see they've got uh, quite the operation here wow so yeah they they load right into the IBC totes and then they lift them and take them away and uh, yeah so there got a little tour of uh, somebody else's woodyard there's no one here I would interview them so what I'm going to do if you're seeing this, I already called them. I'm going to call them and ask permission if I could uh, post this on the channel because uh, I'm not just going to walk around and film it and then put it on. So hopefully you're getting to see this. <laughs> so yeah, they got quite the operation. Look at, they got two big kilns right over there. I'm assuming they're just on vacation today or something. And I can hear buzzing, so they must have uh, power. Yeah, they got get their gas kilns. I can see the gas lines over here. And I can hear them buzzing, so they must be running right now. So they must load them and drive them right into hoppers here. So yeah, it'd be nice to interview them, but so you can see, they've got a heck of an operation. Looks like almost all the wood that I could see here is popple. I didn't see anything else besides popple. And maybe there's some wood over there that's not. Let's just go look over here and see what they got. They got a whole bunch more racks over here. And you can see that's like smaller stuff. And then this is bigger chunks over here. Oh no, there's maple in here, it looks like. I don't know, it looks like popple. Oh, there's birch. It's just mixed up all right here, there's oak. So they do separate it, this is oak right here. Yeah, there's just different different kinds here. But that's all popple there. This here looks like birch right here. There's a whole bunch of cookies you can see. So let's go over to the logs and see what they've got over on the other side over here. Looks like uh, they've got quite an operation here. So we're going to walk over here and take a peek at what they've got. Oh, they've got more crates here. They must put bark and stuff into that, I'm guessing, because it's more like a cage. It's closed tighter. Yeah, you can see chips and stuff in there, so that must be where they put all their all the small stuff for kindling. And you can see all the bark they got here. Oh, that's a lot of bark. Yeah, that must be uh, basswood. I think it's basswood. That's what that looks like right there, actually. Basswood. And this wood over here looks like oak. Yep, this wood over here looks like, uh, I think that's poplar. Yeah, it looks like poplar there. I got a bunch of big ones here, and there's some birch. Here's a bunch of oak right here. So they do have it separated. So they must sell for heating. They must sell the oak. And then for the campfire stuff, there's more popple here, lots of it. Or aspen, if you want to call it that. But yeah, they got a whole row here. So that's all aspen. And over here looks like more oak. Yeah, more oak. So yeah, this is all oak over here. And there's more popple back there. And I can see maple back on that, way back in that corner, there's a bunch of maple. So no, this is basswood here. This is all basswood. So fast drying basswood. Here's maple right here. This is maple. Yeah, they got it all separated. Yeah, this whole row is maple. Here's more basswood here. And then over here looks like ash. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. That looks like ash there. So this is maple here. There's basswood back there. So this is maple. This is maple. Yeah, this is all soft maple here. I can see by looking at it here. You can see the smooth bark in there. Unless it's just mixed up that there's basswood in there too, but it looks like maple. So yeah, they've got uh, lots of stuff here. So there you go.
hopefully I get to show you guys this because there's no one here. <laughs> so talk to you later. I am back in the wood yard after the long road trip delivery and now I'm going to throw in these two rows right here, the two face cords, two thirds of a cord into the trailer and we're gonna go deliver that. So that's what's gonna come at you right now, firewood in the trailer. It was there, and now it's there. It is in, that is two face cords or two thirds of a cord load that is going to the next delivery. And I'm gonna go do that right now. And then I'm supposed to have another one after that. And I've contacted the guy a couple times now and he hasn't responded back. He said, if he doesn't respond back, he's probably not home yet. So maybe I won't be delivering another load. I'd like to, because I've got time to do another load if he would be around, but we'll see what happens. So loading that, just took me 20 minutes exactly. That's how long it usually takes per face cord or, or, or third of a cord. If it's in a roll like that and I can back right up to it, I can usually get it loaded in. If I go really fast, I can get it in in like six to seven minutes if I really throw, you know, like, like grab armfuls and go as fast as I can. But normally it's, it's like eight, nine minutes, something like that. So that's how long it took me. It is done and we're gonna go dump it right now. I am back in the wood yard from the last dump that you just saw, and that is the last delivery for today. I have two more orders, um, but both of the people aren't home yet. Um, one of them wants me to bring it next weekend. The other guy said he'd let me know. So I got two pending orders for now, and I know I've got another one in a couple days. And tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day, so I don't know if I'll get much done tomorrow, but I think that is it for today. I had a good day today as far as Deliveries, I think I delivered a grand total of eight face cords plus the delivery because I had to go a long ways for one of them. It, I ended up with, I think 11 Uncle Benjamins came home with me today. So it was a pretty good day, uh, which is how it is a lot because today is Saturday. It's how it is on a lot of Saturdays in the fall. Um, so I think I'm gonna say goodbye. That's it for today, folks. There's no more. Now you can go do some work. Get outside and get cutting because tomorrow you're gonna come back. You might as well get some work done. Sound good? Before you do that though, poke some buttons, hit the like, the subscribe and share, do all that stuff. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.